2016. The last meeting between these two teams beat back on January 25th, 2003. FGCU won that one big, 103 to 31. Your starters, Richter and Co. for Southeastern, both with 20-plus point games the last time out. Excellent scores. This team can score. They're averaging 88 points a game, Tom. And for FGCU, of course, the name of the game is Balance. It had the same five starters in all ten games, nine up to this one. Slight change today as China Dow replaces Yulel in the starting five. Shouldn't be make as much of a difference. China Dow is usually the spark plug off the bench, but Yulel can do the 22 threes. You know how hard that is to get 22 threes in a game, and especially on a visitor's court, Tom. That's the most impressive part of the whole thing. Yep, one that you've never played on before. So Carl Semesco's FGCU Eagles in the white uniforms. The Southeastern Fire and head coach Tim Hayes in the black and red. They go down low. This is Karamovich, and that's going to be a tie-up, and it'll belong to FGCU. Good, solid defense that time. They double-teamed the low post. As soon as the taller girl brought the ball down to her waist, she was tied up. Good deep. So the Eagles' first possession. Erica Nelson into the corner. It goes Julian, and they pick up Pete right where they left off the other day with a three-pointer. Excellent attack against the 1-2-2 two, two zone. They found the open player in the corner. The great shot off the glass, no good. It is snared by Adderley. Down low and an easy deuce for Julian. And the Eagles lead it 5 nothing in the first minute. Associate head coach Chelsea Bamberry told me before the game they didn't think that the fire could keep up with the uh, Eagles running the floor successfully, which they just did. J.C. Coe off the mark. Quickly out of there with it. Here comes China Dow. Dow slows it up. Didn't have the numbers. Here's Gratishon. Keep an eye on her. Her next point gets her to 1,000. Adderley gets her own rebound. And a fresh opportunity for the Eagles. The shot clock did not reset. Here's Gratishon. Off the mark on the three. And again, it's Adderley. Great second effort on the boards by the Eagles. Adderley into the corner. Bradishon. Look at the ball movement by FGCU. Down to 10 on the shot clock. Adderley. Four to shoot. And it's put up by Dow. Just short. Knocked out of bounds. It will belong to Southeastern University. And head coach Tim Hayes, Southeastern, his second season. He left briefly last year for another job, realized he made a mistake, asked to come back, and they welcomed him back with open arms. With a 39-1 and record for two years, I'd yeah. welcome him back, too. <laughs> Absolutely. He knew that Southeastern was the home for him. Ten on the shot clock. There's a three as J.C. Coe puts the fire on, on the, the board. Don't anybody fool you, Tom. They're an NAIA program, but they have size, skill, and depth. China Dow, no good with the left hand. And there's a three-pointer in and out that time from Richter. Remember, keep an eye on Gratijan. There she is. You know, she'd like to get that 1,000th point. Not that time. 0 for 2 from the field for Taylor. She'd like to kind of get that point, get it past her. Get it her. behind you. Yep. Yeah, get it behind you. Everybody's thinking about it. Her teammates are rooting for her. Nice move inside by Richter. Couldn't finish. What a pass. Dow to Adderley. Excellent pass. China Dow's in the starting lineup uh, for the first time this year. She's using a spark plug off the bench, but she's a much better rebounder than UL, and she attacks and passes better against his own defense. Good strategy to change the lineup. And a pass 
to no one in particular, and a whistle at midcourt, and the foul is going to go against Schmidt. Carl Semesco, of course, 16 years, and how about this number? Seven straight 25 win seasons for FGCU for NCAA tournament trips. So many people talk about 20 win seasons, 25 or more for seven in a row. He's got all the credentials you should ask, you could ask for. He's a future Hall of Famer in my mind. No doubt. No good from Julian. Coach Semesco got to 400 career wins, two games quicker than Gino Oriema. Losing it out of bounds. Southeastern, it will stay with the fire. Haley Prince, the point guard for the fire, is a transfer at one of the three Division I transfers. She drives hard to the basket. You can tell she's an experienced player. Beneath Schmidt. On a size, able to draw the foul. And you look at this Southeastern Fire team, and what immediately jumps out to you, Pete, is its size. No Excellent size, yeah. yeah. No I mean, short even at the guard eight, position. Yep, and yep. eight players. Yep. Eight players on this roster, six feet or taller. It would be a nightmare for them at that size to be trying to match up man-to-man -man against the Eagles. However, that's why they play. They're a 1-2-2 zone. They're big. They're long. And they can get out and cover three-point field goal attempts because of their length and their size. Yulel comes in for FGCU. Kalska in for Southeastern. Missing both free throws. Schmidt. Here's Gratishon for three. Not that time. Going to reset the shot clock. Eagles are doing a great job on the offensive board stop. We just talked about the size advantage that the fire has, but... They have not been able to, because they're playing zone, there's so many lanes, rebounding lanes, to crash the boards with that the Eagles are all involved in crashing the boards and keeping the ball alive on offense. And nearly a steal, and now taken away by the fire. Prince can't finish. Radish on there, but she was last to touch it. You can tell that uh, Prince is a, a, from a good pedigree. She takes it hard to the basket every time she gets a chance, and she doesn't leave the floor to get out of control and charge. There's Toomey, and underneath, and the foul drawn by Richter, who will go to the line now. Anna Richter, we said it in the opening, she's had... Uh, a number of games. It's been eight consecutive games where she scored 22 or more points. Let's see how she holds up tonight against the Eagle defense. It's the first one. Yeah, she, she can score points in bunches. There's no question. She's the lone returning starter from a team that won 28 games and made it to the quarterfinals of the NAIA National Tournament. That's right. So they had an excellent team last year. Coach Tim Hayes said we had a rebuild from uh, from the uh, the bottom of the barrel after we lost everybody. Into the front court, Yulel. And she turns it over. A little bit of a hurry. Nearly five minutes gone. Here at Alico Arena. Afternoon matinee for the FGCU women against Southeastern University. And that foul will go against Julian. And that will take us to our first break. Southeastern trying to keep it close with the Eagle. Fire, full court recovery to protect the arc from the hot shooting Eagles is the first order of business. They've got to get back, set that zone up so that they're making the Eagles shoot from the outside. For the Eagles, it's offensive execution to force that zone to defend from sideline to sideline. Move that zone. And the fire.
Fire trying to utilize that size as they get it inbounds to Schmidt, who is the tallest at 6'6", but it's knocked away by Nelson. China Dow. Man-to-man defense for the first time in the game. The fire has shown. Tim Hayes will switch it up on you all the way to the rack. Score it. And center to the line, Rosemary Julian. Well, this is what Coach Tim Hayes was worried about. If he had to match up man-to-man, how he's going to stop the dribble penetration. They've got the size, but they certainly don't have the defense ability to stop the penetrating drives of the Eagles. And she converts. Going to get a 10-5 contest. Trisha Jacobs only 5-3, bringing it across the court. She loses the handle and turns it over. Well, another good defensive stand by the Eagles that time. Tom, you can tell they are really focused on playing good defense and executing against what they thought was going to be his own. Here's Adderley, Gratijan. 0 for 3 from the field so far. Into the corner, Ulel. And get the roll. Wow, the shooters bounce, roll, whatever you want to call it. Laid on the rim and went in. Second three-pointer of the game for the Eagles. If they pivot move inside and a little bit too much pivot. Yeah, another turnover. That's at least four turnovers. Excellent defense again by the Eagles without fouling. That's the important thing. They're at a size disadvantage. To be able to stop this team without getting in foul trouble will be a big factor tonight. Fifteen to shoot. Underneath it's Adderley. Adderley and Julian doing a great job of attacking the rim. Taken away. Fifth turnover now from the fire. Biggest reason why the Eagles have built a 10-point lead. Three possessions. Adderley well short. Fire would like to be able to get out and run with it. And coast to coast goes Jacobs. That was an excellent drive by Jacobs. Through traffic, handled the ball without a turnover, and finished. And a quick timeout called by Coach Hayes. Hey. Here in the first quarter, as FGCU, we've seen Taylor Gratijan, incidentally, looking for that 1,000th point, put up a trio of three-pointers. And each time her shot goes up, the crowd gasps here at Alico Arena, hoping that that will be 1,000. Not yet, but here's Taylor inside. Seven to shoot. Fire back in the zone again. Underneath, blocked. And was there a foul called? And a violation against FGCU. Three seconds. But the rejection in there by Schmidt. She's a shot blocker for sure at 6'6". The transfer from West Virginia played on the Big 12 championship team last year at West Virginia. So she's legit. Mm Mm-hmm. Nelson coming back into the game for the Eagles. As we tick towards two minutes to play in the opening quarter. Here's a three-point launch from Prince, who hits it. And it's a 15-10 ball game. They called it a two. Dow blocked. It'll stay with the Eagles. China's not used to getting that shot blocked around the basket, but at 6'6", 
the defender Schmidt is going to give her fits around the basket. Yeah, and a quick shot put up, but again contested. Not often do the Eagles see a team with this much size. That They did, however, against Ohio State and were blown out in that game. Yeah, they fell behind early and uh, could never really get into any kind of rhythm and catch up to Ohio State. But this is a whole different level tonight although the uh, fire are hanging in there pretty good. Eagles will be fine as long as the fire keep turning it over like they have. That's seven already. Well, and they're trying to force the Eagles to shoot from the outside with the zone. It's worked so far. Spin move. Julian clears it. China Dow loses the handle. Minute to play, first quarter. Underneath the Schmidt. Bodies hit the floor. And that'll be an offensive foul against Marlena Schmidt. Take a look, Pete. Looked like a walk first, didn't it? Well, possibly. But first, but they gave her, they, they called the foul and she definitely fell dropped back that in. shoulder. Yeah. Yep. Lowered that shoulder. When you get the ball in the low post against the Eagles, you're going to get double teamed right away. So the best thing you can do is turn around and take your shot without bringing the ball down or trying to make any moves with your back to the basket. Final minute of the first quarter. Julian trapped in the corner. Got to get rid of it. Gratijan able to save it. Six to shoot. Erica Nelson. And the bank is open late afternoon on a Tuesday. <laughs> yes, it is. Overtime. <laughs> Overtime hours to the bank today. When you shoot threes like FGCU, they, they go in in all kinds of different ways. It'll never go in if you don't take the shot. So. Six seconds left in the quarter. Co. Got to put it up. And off the mark. So FGCU gets to 18, and they hold Southeastern. A high-scoring team under the second quarter. With the Eagles on top of the fire, 18-9. FGCU off to a 3-for-10 performance from behind the arc. Of course, they poured in 22 threes against Abilene Christian on Sunday. They're just warming up. They're just warming up. <laughs> Everything for the Eagles starts with the defense, Tom. The, the fire shoots 55% from the floor, and they ended up shooting 33% in the first quarter. Great defense led to eight turnovers. Those eight turnovers led to 14 of the Eagles' 18 points. And an opportunity inside, and a second chance put back in by Anna Richter. We've been waiting for her to get on the scoreboard. Richter's first field goal to go along with two free throws. is Julian already in double figures with ten points. Four for six from the field. Yeah, and that was good recognition by the Eagles. Without the 6-6 six, six Schmidt in the game, they went right inside. No more shot blocker inside to protect the rim. And Richter putting together a nice run here. First four points of the second quarter for the fire, all coming from Anna. Minute gone. Nelson, skip pass. Ulel off the mark. Good defensive set by the fire that time. Shot in the air from Prince. She's made it from out there already in this game. All taken away and a fresh shot clock by Southeastern. Underneath, last touched by FGCU. You know, it's been a slow start for Taylor Gratijan so far, Pete. 
from the field. Is that do you expect that today? Is well, a little pressure. Obviously, there's a little pressure, but also she's the key player that all the teams that come into Alico will base their defense around. So they're really looking at her and they're finding her on the floor wherever she is and making her earn everything she gets today. Here's Richter. Back outside. Karamovich with a three. They can shoot, that's for sure. Well, this team won't go away. Southeastern, again, 35 consecutive regular season victories. Averaging 88 points a game. An NAIA Division II team, and incidentally for Southeastern, this is an exhibition today for them. It does count on the record for FGCU. Certainly be a nice feather in the fire's cap if they can come in and just put together a nice performance Absolutely. against the vaunted yeah. Eagles. They're of a different mindset, though. They want to win this game. Rose, and there's Julian, Roseberry Julian missing on the three. Eagles working around. Julian again. You can't give her two looks. <laughs> 13 points for Julian. Three from behind the arc for Roseberry. And Gratishon takes it away. Could this be her... 1,000th point. Well, she'll go to the free throw line with a chance <laughs> to go into the record be a books there. Moment. You know, you give her a lot of credit because she, before she ever set foot on the floor, went through two ACL surgeries, and she is a perfect example of persistence and desire and just a great heart. And here it is. Short on the first free throw, still sitting at 999 points. She'll get one more shot at it from the charity the, stripe. You can go into the record book, too, as the broadcaster's chink for the 1,000 points. <laughs> but here, she's got another chance right now. In and out. Wow. And sort of a smirk on uh, Taylor's face coming away from the line. So much talked about with the yeah. 1,000 points. It's certainly yeah. weighing on her mind. You, she knows, and it's been a... Uh, it's been a, a hurdle just to get over. And you know, Coach Smasker will just tell her, play your game, be yourself, the points will come. That's all. Yeah. Just be Taylor. Great pass to Adderley. Here's Jessica Catani on the floor. Radishon for three. In and out. And Southeastern throws it away. They're into double digits already in turnovers. The one thing that saved uh, the fire so far is most of their turnovers have been dead ball turnovers, so they're able to get back and set up their zone. They're not in transition. Look at the move that time by Erica Nelson, weaving through the defense. Saw that gap in the zone, took advantage of it. And a nice move up and under from Matowska. Nelson scores with the scoop. Their defense lacks a uh, Leaves a little bit to be desired, but they are really strong offensive. They're fun to watch on offense, aren't they, the fire? No Here doubt. we go. Look at that. <laughs> Wild three from Karamovich goes, and it's back to a six-point game. Gratishon saves that from going out of bounds. Now throws it away. But the block from behind by Nelson. Great defense to chase down Jacobs. Well, the cross-court pass is against the zone. Caught up with the Eagles that time with the interception. 
friends in the form of Erica Nelson and Rosemary Julian, both of whom are in double figures already with 10 points apiece. They're off to a great start. And, of course, Taylor Granison is coming off a career-tying record of six makes against mm. Abilene Christian. So I think maybe her right arm might be a little fatigued, or if it isn't <laughs> that, it's those funky socks she has on. That's right. A couple of missed free throws from Jacobs. Man-to-man -man defense for the fire again. Here comes the drives. Back outside, Nelson. Yes! Can drop it from the left wing. Drive and kick. Drive and kick for the threes. No one does it better than the Eagles. She had a great game in that loss out in Vegas to Belmont, a season-high 19 for her. She's capable of that, certainly. Really strong team this year for Carl Semesco. Into the lane, and an offensive foul is called against Michalska. Anyone who scouts the Eagles has to make sure that players going to the basket pull up and don't leave the floor and try to get all the way to the hoop because someone's going to take a charge on them. Mm -hmm. And that's a result of, uh, since Whitney Knight graduated, not having a shot blocker, uh, a rim protector, blocking shots back there. Look at China Dow. No stopping that. Drove past three defenders on her way to the rack. And the Eagles lead by 11. Jacobs. She and Dow fall to the floor, and another offensive foul. As soon as you leave the floor, yeah, I mean, it's frustrating for the other team. Size-wise, it's hard to understand how Jacobs could knock down China Dow, but it happened. Yeah, she got and, whistled for it. And after a while, it, it really affects you psychologically. You're, as soon as you leave the floor, you're afraid that uh, you're going to get whistled for a charge. So Taylor Gratijan goes out of the game for a quick rest. Still looking for that bucket. It'll put her over 1,000 for her career. Another trap in the corner with the zone. The key to setting a good trap now, Tom, is that you make the player throw the ball away. You don't try and steal it from because that's when the fouls are called. And inbounding from the first step there on the sidelines <laughs> is a Erica first, Nelson. That's a first. Here's Julian. All the way. Can't finish. The long arms of Schmidt, the 6'6 center, affected that shot. You talk about Whitney Knight, one of the greats of all time in Eagles program history at 6'3". The tallest player in FGCU history that never had a player anywhere near 6'6", six, six, what Schmidt is for the fire. Yeah, I wonder what the team would be like with somebody that size. Right. <laughs> it would make it a little different, uh, little different composition yeah. with a big center to go to inside, but it would also take away from the wide open drive and kick offense of the Eagles that they're so effective at. The high motion offense works so well with players that are not as tall. High off the glass, Erica Nelson. And points off turnovers, incidentally, for FGCU, 18-2. So the mistakes from the fire, really, FGCU cashing in on them. Here's Schmidt. Dow blocks it. And Nelson saves it. And look at China, not able to finish. Two minutes to play in the half. Schmidt going to Schneider down low. A Richter all the way around the rim. But it won't fall. She's got to be frustrated, Richter, because nothing has gone in for her around the basket. Underneath ULL. She'll go to the free throw line. 
It's amazing how good the Eagles are, Tom, protecting the rim around the basket so that they don't draw fouls and put the other team on the foul line. The ball's been inside so many times, yet they don't foul that player around the basket. Every time they enter the ball on offense, though, they're drawing a foul and getting a trip, earning a trip to the foul line. Well, makes the first one. As Adderley comes back in. Place of Jaredika. And also checking back into the game, Karamovich for Southeastern. In and out, but this is the largest lead for FGCU, 35-21. They're on an 8-0 run. A weak side rebound, The Co can't convert. They certainly had their chances around the basket. Julian. Oh, that one won't fall, but it almost felt like that was halfway down, and it came out. Foul's going to go against Marlena Schmidt. And that's the fifth team foul against the fire. Adderley asserting herself against the sixth since Schmidt had inside position and guard gathered that rebound. Radishon coming back in for the final 115 of the half. She certainly would like to get that thousands point before halftime and get it out of the way. There it is. For the ball to Gratishon, who's there for the putback. Welcome to the 1,000 point club for Taylor Gratishon. She earned it tonight. And a big sigh of relief for Taylor. Nice to get that taken care of. <laughs> you know, that takes a little pressure off. She can kind of go back to just playing her game. That's all. Just playing her game. Well, it, you, you know, you can never tell if anything was bothering her or not. She's been that kind of a steady, consistent player. Underneath the bucket for Sarah Beth Richter. One of the few times they've drawn a foul around the basket. That's how effective the Eagles have been defending their, their uh, bucket. Yulel called for the foul, and Richter off on the free throw. There's a putback opportunity from a missed free throw for Southeastern, and they get it back with a full shot clock. Co hits a three. Carl Semesco not going to like that turn of event. 30 seconds left in the half. FGCU on top by 11. Into the corner, Gratishon. Nine to shoot. Put up, missed by Nelson. Adderley, seven seconds left. Nelson launches a long three, no good, and that'll do it for the first half here at Alico Arena. It took a while, but Taylor Gratishon becomes the 10th in the first 20 minutes of play. Well, and Julian, don't forget, Tom, now Julian leads not only leads the team in scoring, but this is now her sixth game in a row that she's had double-digit scoring. So she's having a great year. And before we start the second half, the announcement to the crowd and a standing ovation for Taylor Gratishon for her 1,001 points in her career. Nice recognition for the sixth year senior. Quickly on the board for the fire, Karamovich. Hits to make it a nine-point game. First five minutes of this third quarter are going to be vital to, to see whether or not the Eagles can break the game open or Southeastern can work their way back in. Look at Erica Nelson right down the lane. Should have been able to finish that one. The long arms of Schmidt, the 6'6 center, impacted that shot. So much room there. Could have driven a truck down the lane on that drive for her. 
Well, and that's the advantage of having a shot blocker back there. You, the guards can funnel the ball right to the shot blocker and let her change shots or block shots. And a three-pointer is short. Adderley with the rebound. The fire have got to be careful of 6'6", Marlena Schmidt. There she is. And the foul is called, and that's exactly why Schmidt picks up her fourth foul a minute nine into the third quarter. It's a great break for the Eagles. Adderley finishes around the basket that time. A good head and shoulder pump fake. Got Schmidt in the air. Not in the air. She doesn't leave the floor. She doesn't have to at 6'6". But well, with four fouls and no points, that is a big loss to not have a major contribution. Well, from she's Schmidt the biggest player on the floor, and she didn't score. So that tells you how well the, the Eagles have played defense. As Adderley completes the three-point play. 12-point lead for FGCU. Tapped away. Did Julian so aggressive going after that one. And they never quit. You know, they finish every play until you hear the whistle or the ball goes out of bounds. Prince loses the hand. Handle, sort of an unforced error. You can't afford those when you're down 12. China Dow kicks it to a wide open Gratijan who passes up the shot. Tom, watch how they attack the middle of that zone, especially without Schmidt in there to block shots. Offensive foul called against Eric and Nelson. That is three on Nelson. Coach Mesco is leaving her in the game, showing great trust in her ability to play smart with three fouls. And a three-pointer is short. Julian with the rebound. Quickly down the floor. Thrown away, and bodies on the floor trying to come up with it. It'll stay with FGCU on the tie-up. Southeastern's going to need more offensive production from Anna Richter, too, in the second half. Yeah, no question about that. Averages over 20 points, only six thus far. FGCU turns it over, their fifth turnover of the ball game. She missed a lot around the basket. Let's see if she can finish a little better this half. Nelson. Eagles want to run. Gratijan for three. Yes! There you go. There's one of the five you predicted at halftime she's going to get in the, in the third and fourth quarter. Yeah, she, can, she can make up in streaks, that is for sure. Five points in the game for Taylor. And they'll turn around, and there is Richter with her eighth point. Tim Hayes calls a quick timeout. That's what they need. There's more production from Richter. Seven minutes left to play, third quarter. Tom, the only thing not going the Eagles' way is the rebounding. They're being out-rebounded 25-22, to 22, and uh, Southeastern has 12 second-chance points, points to five for the Eagles. Here's Rosemary Julian. This one too strong. The fire hanging around here. Another, you got to finish there, though, don't you? Got a great pass thrown in by Karamovich. Yeah, and when you're, when you're down by 13 points, you can't miss layups. Toomey unable to convert. Here she is again with the right hand. Makes up for the error. Much better job. Yeah. 
Radish on, nice bounce pass underneath, and it's taken away as Adderley throws it away. Jaromovic, long rebound, and Adderley has it. Oh, that was a tough rebound in traffic, Adderley. Three in the air, Julian not to be. Four minutes gone here in the third quarter, and a foul. It'll go against Adderley of FGCU. Yep. Interesting about Southeastern, they were coming off a 68-point throttling of Kaiser University, 116-48 to on Saturday. They were hitting them from all over the place that night. No question. 116 points, wow. One by 68. One off the mark. Julian, going to try it again. He's missed three consecutive three-pointers from the corners. Richter has it slapped away. But outside, right into the hands of Prince for three. And it's an eight-point game. They can score. Down misses an easy one. Good second and third effort by China Dow, but it still goes off her hand. It's the Fires ball. Down for a long road trip. Of course, they closed out that road trip Sunday night. 22 made three-pointers in the 94-55 victory over Abilene Christian. That is the third most made threes in Division I history. It also ties a school record. Second time FGCU has done that. Well, that's what they, uh, that's their mode of operation, so they, uh... How about that? And it's a Toomey with the bucket and the foul and an opportunity coming at the free throw line to make this a five-point game. Well, Lisa Toomey finished strong around the basket. She's doing what we said you have to do. Go straight up or fade away. Don't try and get to the basket. Now a little full-court pressure applied by Tim Hayes' team. Ball knocked out of bounds. Carl Semesco wondering what he can do to get some space between his Eagles and this gritty fire team. Well, they're back in the 1-2-2 zone. Let's see how the Eagles attack it. Cross-court pass. And underneath for Adderley, but it's taken away. Richter from the elbow and way off the mark is Toomey that time. And a foul will go against Southeastern. That's two on Karamovic as Adderley heads back to the bench. China Dow out there for the Eagles. Well, they're back in their 1 2 2 zone. Watch out, the Eagles. Try to get to the middle of this zone, penetrate to the middle, then kick it out. What a pass by Dow to Julian. What a pass. Caught the zone flat foot at that time. They've got to be more alert than that. Lead back up to seven. Under four minutes to play, third quarter. And there's a steal by Nelson. And the frustration foul called against the fire. So that's two on Mikulska. Of course, FGCU with only six three-pointers. And a turnover that time. Dow threw it right to Prince. All the way with it. Mikulska. He's got a ball game, Tom. Back to a five-point <laughs> game. Nelson. Bounce pass, they kick it back outside, Gratijan. 
Fire team playing tough defense. Gratijan, she's always lurking out there on the perimeter when they need her most. And ball movement created that opportunity. Move the ball against the zone, you'll get open looks. Eight points for Gratijan. Three minutes to play, third quarter. And a whistle down low. And this will go on the fire. And this is Toomey. That'll be her second. Coach Hayes is in, is befuddled with that call. <laughs> yeah. And that's another foul to be called against Southeastern. You know, Taylor Gratijan hitting that three, her second three of the game. She has eight points. She came into this game needing 18 points to catch Courtney Chihill for eighth place in FGCU scoring. So she's now just 10 points shy of that mark. She'll get it at some point. It may not be tonight. But if she makes her other four threes that you predicted at halftime, she'll have it tonight. <laughs> As Yulel misses the first, Gratishon at this point in the season, 31 of her 37 made field goals this year have come from behind the arc. 31 of 37. She is a great player because she can stroke it with the best of them. Missed free throw. And here come the fire. Yulel makes one of two. And what a nice pass to Richter who took her eye off the ball. She tried to make a move before she got control of the ball. Schmidt is back in the big 6-6 six, six center for Southeastern. Let's see if the Eagles try to go right at her and attack her to get there, pick up that fifth foul. Zeradika back in for the Eagles. Got some playing minutes in the first half. There's no question, Tom, that the length of this Southeastern team has affected the Eagles attacking the zone. And Schmidt with a block. Staying aggressive on what could have been a fifth foul. You can tell that uh, Anna Richter averages 22 points a game. And she, you can tell that she's very comfortable posting up more than she is coming out on the perimeter. She just hasn't shown a perimeter game tonight. But she's very effective down there. Richter with a quick shot. And Richter with 10 points. Two minutes to play, third quarter. Julian. Quick move. Draws the foul. They cover a lot of territory, but they don't do a good job of protecting the lane in that zone. They're big and long and can really close out well with their length. But the Eagles have been very successful at getting the ball into the lane and drawing fouls and finishing around the basket. There's Mary Julian with 15 points. Make it 16. Preseason player of the year in the A-Sun. Shining tonight. Timeout taken by Coach Hayes. This is a and uh, just because of that confidence level, they've hung in there and made this a ball game. Do have to watch the fouls. Schmidt and Chalska with four and three respectively. Here's Schmidt. Down low to Richter. Can't convert. She's had many an opportunity to score around the basket. It just won't drop for it tonight. Sometimes you have those nights. Julian. Nobody around her. Well, and Schmidt obviously is afraid to pick up her fifth foul, trying to block it from that distance. Back to a double-digit lead. All the way. And off the glass for Prince.
Final minute of the third quarter. Into the gaps and kick it out. Adderley penetrates. Goes right by the defender and can't finish. But gets her own rebound. All the way down the baseline goes UL. Breakdown on defense that time by the fire. Final 10 seconds. In a 10 point game. And Schmidt throws it away. So the Eagles will have 5.5 seconds. They're going to stay in their zone with five seconds to go. Zeradika across midcourt. Gratishon gets it off just in time, but it won't go. And so the lead is extended back to double digits from the University of Fire coming in 11 and 0, and they're giving FGCU all they can handle. It's now back to a 10-point lead for the Eagles, but uh, they've really been a handful. Well, the Southeastern uh, Fire have been led by Anna Richter all year long. She's had eight consecutive games of 22 points or more. However, at the end of the third quarter, she only has 10 points tonight. She is going to have a tough time getting to 22 tonight. And a three in the air. And it's good from Karamovich. So with a lead back just to seven for FGCU. Threes can change a game very, very quickly. Radijan took her eye off the ball. And the Eagles turn it over. That's their 10th turnover of the game. And turnovers have really been a problem for Southeastern, who have given it away 19 times. If not for that, who knows where we'd be in this game. Leading the 21 Eagle points. All the way with it. Mikowska. Unusual breakdown on defense. Did anyone get all the, all the way to the basket on the Eagles? Well, converts easily. One minute gone. Fourth quarter. Good athletic move by Nazareth. Pass underneath, and I think they're going to get Gratijan on that foul. And they do. First team foul in the fourth quarter. You need five team fouls to earn a trip to the uh, line for a one-on-one, -on -one for two shots, actually. Can't convert Richter that time. China Dow to UL. Loves to go down that baseline as it poked away. Inside to Julian. And a three from Nelson. And that's the problem with trying to defend FGCU. You never know who's going to beat you from behind the arc. Yeah, and all of them are fearless taking a three-point attempt. So, and they can all shoot it. Mid-range jumper no good. Gratijan snares it. Eight minutes to play. This ball movement by the Eagles. Terrific. Unselfish. Inside, outside. Julian will head to the free throw line. What a difference. The Fire are playing a zone defense, which normally keeps you out of foul trouble, but the they've committed 14, 15 fouls already this game. And the Eagles have been to the foul line 
12, they're 5 for 12, so they're not shooting the ball well from the foul line. As Julian makes it an 11-point game. And on the other end, Southeastern's only been 3 for 8 from the foul line playing against an aggressive man-to-man -man defense by the Eagles. Played well, though, because they don't foul. 61-49, FGCU. That's a great up-and-under move by Michalski. She's done a couple of those tonight. She's got that move down, Pat. She's got six. Schmidt getting ready to check back in for the fire. Eagles turn it over. Out in front, all alone is Richter. Southeastern is not going to go no, away they're not in this going game. Away. They're a good team. They're really a good team. They're going to stay in the zone even though they're down eight. Oh, what a pass. Down to Julian. Dribble penetration against the zone and passing the ball into the lane has been very effective for the Eagles in getting good shots. Victor fouled by Dow, who can't believe it. Smith, the big 6'6 center from 84, Pennsylvania, back into the game. Schmidt is from Ringgold High School, the home of Joe uh, Montana. How about that? Uh, <laughs> something good and in the she, water there, and, huh? And her, her, she never told her coach. I told her coach that. And then he made her said, why don't you tell me Montana's from your high school? <laughs> She's a, she played at West Virginia on the uh, Big 12 championship team last year. There she is, Schmidt, back outside. Three ball in the air is good from Prince. Love to see how this Southeastern team might fare through a full season in the A-Sun Conference. They have got some talent. They would be real competitive. <laughs> and I'll tell you one thing, I don't think the Eagles would want to play them too many more times this year. It's a bump foul is called against Karamovich. But and this is a team that lost four of their five starters mm -hmm. from the quarterfinal team in the NAIA tournament last year. So Tim. a great rebuilding job by Coach Tim Hayes. Yeah, Tim Hayes just rebuilding and reloading, if you will. Yeah, some pushing and shoving underneath. That foul will go against the Fires. Haley Prince. FGCU, we talk about them being so happy to be home. Ten of their next 11 here at Alico Arena. Until January 20th, they will only play one more game away from this building. Before January 20th, Gratijan. Yes, sir. You can't give her that much space. Or you're going to pay the price. 11 points for Gratishon. Into double figures. Right about her average. Her third three-pointer of the night. Just off. And Taylor snares the rebound. So as we tick towards five minutes to play in this game, FGCU just trying to hold off Southeastern. China Dow. High! Arking three-pointer is good. China Dow can beat you from the perimeter or beat you from the paint. China Dow, is only, it's only her fifth point as the Eagles and Gratishon gets another rebound. The foul is going to go against Richter. And China Dow at a season-high 26. He was so huge in that big win out in Vegas. Over 21st ranked DePaul. The Eagles lead it by the ball in the second half in terms of turnovers, which has really helped keep them in this game. Yes, it has. Now, they've got 14 fouls on them now, so the next time the Eagles draw a foul, they'll be in the one. They'll, get the, uh, they'll go to the foul line the rest of the game. 
What a rebound by China Dow. Dow in the corner. Blocked off on the baseline. Crisp movement of the ball. Nelson! Leads to an open shot and a three. 18 points for Erica Nelson. Great execution by the Eagles. They're pulling, starting to pull away. And for Erica Nelson, that is one shy of her season high of 19 points. Meanwhile, Rosemary Julian with 23, and that is one point shy of her season high. She had 24 early in the year against FIU. Well, she's the that's why she's the preseason player of the year in the A Sun. Nice job off the glass that time, Karamovich. Lead up to 14 for the Eagles. Gratishon for three. And again, China Dow with an offensive board. The zone allows you to sneak into those rebounding lanes, and the Eagles have done a great job of getting second shots against the zone. Nelson for three. Way long. Richter out of there with it. And if the fire are going to make a push, it's got to be now. And it starts with the three from J.C. Coe. Absolutely. <laughs> Southeastern University fire squad. Really something to watch. Fun to watch. Same as the Eagles. Yep. Solid effort tonight, FGCU. Now with 10 threes in the game. China Dow. Gratishon. All the way to the hoop and gets fouled. Don't see Taylor Gratishon very often no. take it to the 10. You're right about that. And it's a, another example of the Eagles getting to the rim against the zone and drawing a chance, a foul, and getting to the foul line. Gratishon will shoot two. And really what a story she has been. I remember when she was such a highly touted recruit coming in here so many years ago. She's a sixth-year senior for Carl Semesco and had those devastating knee injuries one after another. The miss, but China Dow puts it back. So much was hoped for for Taylor, and it took her a while to get on the court. And she has lived up to all those expectations. It took a little extra time to get it started. Yeah, she certainly has made her mark on this program. Ten to shoot. They throw it away. Into the hands of Dow. Julian. And an air ball. Richter loses the handle on it. One of the rules I always had for a low post player or any post player, don't put the ball on the floor with your back to the basket. Square up, turn and face up, and then make your move. You still have your dribble left. When you put the ball on the floor with your back to the basket, you're off balance. You don't know where you're going, and you don't know where the defender's coming from. Anna Richter guilty of that on the last play. <laughs> Under two minutes to play. Look at this passing. Dow. So many great teams that Carl Semesco has had here through the years. Not sure how many I've seen that distribute the ball among one another as well as this one. Well, and don't forget... They do not play against a lot of zones. So this is something they practice against but don't see really in game action. So for them to execute this well against zones is really a, a tribute to the coaching staff and, of course, the preparation, which is always there on their part. 
74-61, and the Eagles turn it over for the 12th time this afternoon. Number still to come, the FGCU men against FAU. See that live on ESPN3 as Trisha Jacobs drives, draws the foul. China Dow, one of the best in the country at taking charges. That's how the Eagles have to protect the basket. They don't have a shot blocker or a rim protector, so they've got to be in position, rotate on time, and make sure that they're in position to take the charge outside of that arc, too. Mm -hmm. Jacobs makes them both. They're going to push the zone up a little bit, it looks like. Let's see how the Eagles attack this. Julian and a bump underneath. Not much, but it's going to be against Richter. Check that against Toomey. So Julian steps to the line. Chance to set her new season high in points. If she can make them both, she makes the first. It's her 24 on the afternoon. Well, and 25. Which tops her output in that game early on against FIU as Taylor Gratishon checks out. Now. Part of that 1,000-point club. There are only 10 of them here at FGCU. Took her a while to get started this afternoon. You could feel there were a little nerves. Missed her first few shots from behind the arc. Couple of free throws. Finally scored there late in the half. Got that out of the way. And she's Just like you said, though, quite a nice game. Everybody's asking about it, and everybody's talking about it, and they want it to happen. So it just adds to the drama. See Jessica Catani gets in the game. Uh, normally she plays a lot more minutes. She's not in the doghouse, the coach's doghouse, but uh, Coach Banbury told him before the game her foot has been bothering her again. And, of course, she had a walking cast a couple weeks ago, so they're taking it easy on her playing time. Ryan misses the three. Final minute. Chowska. Hits from outside. That puts her in double figures with 11. A lot of great things to come for this Southeastern University squad. This will snap their 35-game regular season winning streak, or will it? Since this is only an exhibition, that, that's right. Yes, that will not snap that, that streak. That will not snap that streak. And that's probably why they made it an exhibition game. <laughs> they have played really, really well. They have nothing to be ashamed of to come in here and lose a game by 10 points to the mid-major Power Eagles. Final score, FG.